Hello everybody, welcome to Teach tr- tr- Tricks, Tips, Reviews, and Box. This is Roger Hansen, and I am coming back to you with another video of changing over to Linux. Today I'll be discussing Unit Booting, and I will also be discussing the website for Ubuntu, and I will be getting to that with when it gets to it. Um, right here, I'm going to be discussing the things that you can do with Unet Boot-In, which comes with, with Lubuntu when you uh, have Linux. The parts in here that are available to you in your distros, you uh, can select the distro for um, what you want to put on a USB. Basically, this is where you can uh, or download uh, versions or distros uh, onto a USB. And here are some of the selections you can get. You can get Arch Linux, Backtrack, Centros, Clonezilla, Damn Small Linux, Debian, Dream Linux, Dr. Web, Antivirus, Eli, or Elib, Fedora, Free BD, BSD, Free DOS, Free NOS, uh, Google Wear, Get Xbox, G Nuisance, Gujin, Kaspersky, Rescue Disk, Ubuntu, Linux Console, Linux Mint, Lubuntu, Mandriva, Mepis, M E P I S, Netboot CD, Nimble X, NT Password, Password, NT Pass WD, Open Seuss, Oak Crack, or OPH Crack, Parted Magic, Puppy Linux, Sabayan Linux, Salix, Slack, Flytaz, Smart Boot Manager, Super Grub Disk, Super OS, Ubuntu, XPUD, Zubuntu, and Zen. Now, you can also select versions to go with it. I've gone through here and I've uh, actually tried to get a few of those and I can tell you right now that they're not very reliable and I also am on Ubuntu and the reason why I did this was because I was going to try to use unit uh, boot in to get a copy of Ubuntu so that I could transfer it from the uh, first computer that I started doing all this on to the computer that I have now which is my mom's old computer that I've been uh, working on with Linux now um, and when I did it I found out that they only have the um, 1404 um, live and 1404 HD media x64 and basically the 1404 version of Ubuntu um, I didn't want to do that because I've heard a lot of bad things in the reviews and even Ubuntu says how bad it is so I went ahead and stopped doing that and I went ahead and went up or went on to the internet and downloaded Ubuntu from the main website now um, when you go on to the, the internet just go to the Google browser and type in Ubuntu make sure that you go to www.lubuntu.me and that is the actual website for Ubuntu 17.10 and that's the version that I got. Um, that's the best version that they have um, that I've heard of. I've got it right now, but I don't know if it's the best. I've never had any previous ones. So when you go there, you hit download, and you'll be given the latest version as the first option. And then there'll be four selections there. The desktop 32-bit, the alternate 32-bit, desktop 64-bit, and the alternate 64-bit. Now, you're going to hear a lot of people tell you to get the 32-bit that it's more efficient and all that but let me explain something to you about that 32-bit um, if you get 32-bit you're going to uh, have problems when it comes to Chrome 32-bit Linux doesn't support anything that Chrome and you'll have to use Chrome in, in, instead of being able to use Chrome so if you can do 64-bit go ahead and download 64-bit because it'll also give you 32-bit options too it'll download 32-bit as well as support so don't listen to people that tell you you to do that if you can put 64 bit on your computer put it on there. Um, and plus you only get the 32 bit and you like to go on facebook and play games like farmville 2 or any 
are other apps. I don't know which ones. I just know Farmville too because my mom plays it. But uh, if you play those games, then Chromium won't support it. You'll go to Farmville and they'll keep telling you that you have to download or allow that app to use Java and it won't work. And it just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. So basically, I went to the website and I got the desktop uh, 64 bit. First, I got the 32 bit, and that's how I found out. And when I did that, I did it on this computer right here when I was trying to put the mint on, and it was causing a lot of problems. Also, I uh, want to mention too with these backgrounds that you see here, um, I've seen a lot of backgrounds when I was going through and checking out the bunch of, and everybody has different styles, and like the styles that I've got right here. Um, don't be fooled, this is not how your desktop is going to look because when you get uh, Linux, you'll be able to set up your own background, your own, uh, the, the way your uh, computer looks. So just because you see these backgrounds doesn't mean that you're going to get that because you have to set up all that yourself. But you do have uh, good options, and uh, uh, I was just showing you the, the panels on there where it shows the little controls down the bottom. You can actually manage your uh, area and stuff like that. It's mean, pretty cool how the that is. Um, I've only got 15 minutes to get through all this stuff, so I just wanted to show you this and tell you about UNET and, or UNET boot-in and uh, going to the website. Now here was uh, something I wanted to show too. It's uh, about uh, burning burning Ubuntu onto a CD. You see, the issue that I had with that was um, when you burn the Ubuntu onto a CD, you have to have a disk that has more than like 96 millibytes, I believe. 96 millibytes of, uh, of memory. And I've only got, uh, uh, wait, no, it's actually, uh, well, it's something like it. I didn't have, oh yeah, it's 900 and something millibytes, I'm sorry. And I only had a uh, uh, discs that have uh, 700 and I needed to get bigger discs so what I ended up doing is changing my mind and I went ahead and just did the USB uh, drive I used Rufus the first time for setting up from Windows over to uh, Linux and then for this time when I was uh, doing it, I went ahead and just used the disk for USB. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, make comments, and let me hear what you have to say.